now that we have a bootstrap and over here we have images right we have downloaded our images and we have downloaded our font awesome we're actually ready to jump and start actually coding the html for our banner right so over here i'm just going to create a little bit more space so we can see and we're obviously going to be working within a body, body section over here and you can see that our scripts are on the bottom but we're just gonna maybe close out the head element because for now we don't need it we're gonna need a little bit later we're gonna be adding a more links but for now we're just gonna leave this uh closed like this over here and the first thing that i want to do is i want to create a section and i'm going to say that this section is going to have an id and the id is going to be a banner now later on we're actually going to be placing a nav over here but for now we're just going to be working with a uh, titles and links and all that other stuff but now we're going to be adding a little bit later so over here the first thing that i want to do is actually add a div and i'm going to say that th this div is going to have an id and that id is going to be a banner content and this one we're going to be using actually for centering purposes so over here with this id banner content within this div we're going to create a div that's going to be a div of id of banner box right so over here this is going to be a banner box and within that banner box we're going to create a h1 right then we're going to right away create a strong tags also within those strong tags we're just going to write a name uh, of our website right so in this case i'm going to write imagine but obviously you can create whatever you would want and after that we're going to create this underline so for that we're going to create a div with an id and id is going to be pretty straightforward this is going to be banner underline over here like this so now we have our div and after that after within this banner box right uh after that we would need to create also here a href right so i'm going to say that i'm creating a link this is going to be an href and over here and over here we're going to say that this href is going to be actually going to id work so over here we're going to create that uh this is going to have a location of work right not just a simple hashtag but actually it's going to be going to id work and here we're going to say that this is going to have a name of work right so now we have our uh, div banner box but what what else we need to create is actually we need to create over here this little icon that's going to be jumping up and down right so over here this banner content now underneath here we're going to be creating a div and we're going to say that this is going to have an id and this is going to have a ba banner icon icon over here like this and within this banner icon we're going to actually be using a our font awesome so i'm going to create a href over here and i'm going to say that this is going to be going to services which is going to be our next section so basically it's kind of going to slide down right and here within this href we're going to place a i that's going to have a class and the class is going to be fa and fa angle down angle double down double over here down right so i'm just going to close this one and you can see that this is going to be our uh, icon over here and we're just going to leave it the way it is right now and we just we're pretty much ready to go and actually uh, start styling every, everything now before we do that i just want to show you a brackets extension that is going to be making our life a little bit easier now over here you can see again we click on uh, extensions right on uh, brackets extensions and again it's going to take a little bit to load so i have two options either i need to cut it once i'm actually uh, editing or i can just yammer for those two minutes well it actually was quite a quick this time so we go to installed right and if we go to beautify right this is the brackets extension that actually makes our code look uh, nicer and neater right and we have a couple of options we can just pretty much let's say in this case we can just select whole text right and we can uh, right click it over here and we have beautify right 
and you can see that it pretty much opens up everything but it it actually puts it really nicely so so we don't have a any kind of spaces or anything like that right which is in our case a little bit messed up then it open up the head but another way we can do it is we have a file right and we have a beautify on save so every time we're going to be saving it's going to be doing the same thing right and trust me right now when we have this little like bodies and this just section right with the banner that's really easy however if we're going to be using once we're going to actually get to the to the end of this document you're going to see that this uh, working with the beautify is actually going to make our uh, let's say our whole file look uh, much more more readable right but we're going to be working because we're going to have many sections like this and before we actually go and style it what i want to do is i want to refresh because this is like this kind of uh, jib with a um, brackets extensions that are actually acting like this right they have a uh, double right double double our text now what i want to do over here i just want to have a comment that i'm just going to say that this is going to be a banner section over here and once we're done with this section right we're just going to create a over here a comment that this is going to be the end of the banner section of banner section over here and here we're going to write that this is going to have a start of a services section section over here it's a start of uh, services section over here maybe let's create one more room and over here we're going to have a services section right so this is another thing that once you're working it's actually very neat if you're leaving these comments for yourself right because then for sure you know uh, which section you're working on and again once you're going to have five six seven eight nine sections this is really neat if you're sliding up and down you know uh, where you're i'm sorry scrolling up and down you know where you're located so now that we have created our HTML for our banner, we can actually ready to go and jump to our CSS and start styling our banner.